Yo, what's going on guys? So to access Elden Ring's new Shadow of the Erd Tree DLC, we are going to first need to defeat two bosses. The first of which is Radon, located in Khalid, at the Red Main Castle. You're just going to want to make your way over here and defeat him. And unfortunately guys, a lot of my footage got corrupted while making this video, or while recording. So I don't have a lot of the footage I would like to have to show you guys. But with that being said, I still think we can manage. But after you kill Radon... You are going to need to go find and kill Mog, Lord of Blood. And he is located at the Mogawin Palace. I believe is how you pronounce that. I'm sorry, guys. I can't pronounce half the words in this game. But in order to get there, it's a little tricky. But I'm going to show you an easy way to do it. So if you remember where you first started the game, you talked to this dude with the white mask named Var. Now, after you talk to him for the first time and you progress and you defeat your first shard bearer, he is then going to come over here to the Rose Church. So after you defeat a shard bearer, he'll move over here to the Rose Church, and that is when we want to come talk to him, because he is then going to offer us two quests we can do. We don't need to do both quests. We only need to do one. You can pick which one you want to do. But when you come to the Rose Church, he's going to be standing right here by this door. And in one of the quests, he's going to give you some bloody festering fingers, which is going to require you to invade another player's game three different times. It doesn't matter if you win the fight, you don't even have to fight, you could just invade and then kill yourself three times, and that's it for that quest. Or, if you don't want to do that, he's going to want you to kill a certain named NPC located at the Right Blood Ruins, which can be found right here on our map. So go there and kill the named NPC, and whether you do this quest or you use the Festering Fingers to invade a player's world three times, like I said, it doesn't matter which quest you do. Once you complete it, return to Var here at the Rose Church, and he's going to reward you with the Lord of Blood's favor. And this is the item we need to get to the palace, but before we can use it, we need to soak it in Maiden Blood. Fortunately for us, just north at the, at the Church of Inhibition is a Maiden right beside the Side of Grace. So we can just travel over here interact with her, soak it in the blood, and then it will transform into the pure blood night metal. And that is the thing we need to use to make it to the palace. Now once we arrive at the palace, we're going to see a set of stairs, and we are just simply going to follow these stairs all the way up. We're going to go through a few sites of grace until we eventually reach the cocoon of the Imperium, I believe is how you pronounce that, and that is where we are going to have to fight Mog, Lord of Blood. Now after you defeat him, you may have to leave and then come back, but you will see this NPC standing right here by the cocoon with Homegirl's arm sticking out. And now that we have defeated Radon, and we have defeated Mog, we can now interact with the arm and be teleported to the new DLC area. And with that being said guys, that's going to do it for me in the video. I hope I helped you out. If I did, drop me a like, consider subscribing, more Elden Ring content on the way. And until next time guys, see ya.